Hi guys, Roger, back after a long hiatus. Life has been busy on my end. Uh, went to travel a little bit, switched jobs. But what matters is I'm back, back with another video. And this video, I'm gonna talk about something which is very near and dear to my heart. How to switch technologies. Um, so personally, I started my career in mainframe and now I am a cloud architect. So whatever I'm going to share today is from my actual experience. It's not something that I Googled. And I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way. You feel stuck in your current career. Uh, maybe you are working in a technology uh, that you don't like anymore or you want to explore new technologies. So I'm gonna break this video into two areas. The first area would be time management. Uh, so probably a lot of you have full-time jobs, family. So I'm going to talk about three things that I personally follow to make time. And then on the area two, uh, once that you have the time management thing done, I'm gonna talk about five steps that I followed uh, to get into cloud. So I hear this a lot these days. If you want to be successful, you have to wake up at like three o'clock in the morning or something. Like my friends will tell me, hey, do you know this CEO wakes up at three o'clock in the morning? That CEO wakes up at four o'clock in the morning. Mark Wahlberg, the actor, wakes up at 2.30 in the morning. You know what I say? Stop that nonsense right now. Get your seven hours of sleep at least. So my tip number one is rest your brain. You know why Mark Wahlberg can wake up at 2.30 in the morning? Because he goes to bed at seven o'clock and he has a lot of help. He has a chef to cook for him. He has some cleaning people to clean after him. He probably has nannies to look after his kid. So he can go to bed super early. But if you are like me, who has a wife, a fatty child and a human child, there is no way you can go to bed at seven o'clock in the evening. So sleep well, sleep seven hours. You know, throughout the day, your brain cells actually die and they regenerate when you sleep. If you want to switch your career, you definitely need those brain cells alive and kicking. So my second and most effective time management tip is say no to binge watching TV series. So actually I'm sharing this on YouTube. My, even my close friends don't know this. Um, they're probably gonna give me a hard time. So a lot of my close friends will come to me and say, uh, hey Raj, have you watched the new uh, Ozark uh, in Netflix? It's only like 12 hours, uh, just binge watch it. It's like amazing. Or they will say, hey, have you watched the new uh, Bard Call or Bard Box or whatever in Netflix? And I will say, oh yeah, yeah, I watched a little bit. Uh, looks super interesting. Uh, I definitely want to watch the rest of it. Lies, I lie to them. Uh, I haven't watched a single episode. I have no intention of watching for 12 hours. You know how many TV series I have watched in last four years? Only one, Game of Thrones. Uh, because zombies and dragons, right? So my third tip, which is actually tied to tip number two, is uh, build a discipline. Uh, so what I mean by that? Uh, how many times it has happened to you that you come home from work uh, and then you spend time with your family and then you tell yourself, you know what, I'm just gonna watch one episode of this thing on Netflix uh, and then I'm gonna go do something else. And then you sit down in front of the TV and one episode goes by, two episodes goes by, and hours go by and you're still watching TV. So science and study has found out that it's very difficult for human brain to do context switching. Uh, so once you start doing an activity, uh, the only time you take a break is do the evolutionary things like um, you eat food or you take a bio break. But other than that, to switch the task is very, very difficult. 
So um, what I mean by building a discipline is once you spend time with your family in the evening and then just go to your chair in the office or wherever your Zen place is in your home and start investing into uh, reading, right? Um, so once you start doing this for a couple weeks, in the beginning, it would be very, very difficult. Even 30 minutes feel like long, it won't be productive. But as you start doing it, 30 minutes will become 45 minutes, it will become an hour. And you will be surprised what happens after you do this for a month. Uh, after a month, say after a month, you, for a month you have been uh, doing this studying. And then one evening, uh, you try to watch something on TV, like in a Netflix or something. And then uh, your brain will tell you, ah, you know what? I should probably go study a little bit more, or do this for my career. Um, it's amazing how a habit uh, forms and then your brain is automatically tuned to uh, the other activity that you have been doing. Okay, step number one is take some online courses and get a cloud certification. So there are a lot of free content out there and also um, there are some great content just for minimal charge. Invest a little bit on that, study that, and get a certification. Um, however, don't just study the question and answer to pass the test, right? Uh, try, to, try to get the concepts clear. Uh, try to understand uh, why and how these concepts can be used. So sometimes I would see people with like nine certifications, which is cool, but start with your area of depth, right? Um, let's say you have an uh, interest in security, so get the security specialty. Uh, let's say you like DevOps, get the DevOps certifications. Um, the idea is when you go for an interview, you should be able to explain that you have some actual knowledge on the certification you have, not just uh, the shiny logo. Number two, get your hands dirty. Don't be a pen and paper engineer. There is no way to remember all the theories. Uh, AWS Cloud has free tier account, so sign, sign up for it and just build stuff, break stuff, right? And learn from it. Um, and also upload your codes to GitHub. Keep putting stuff in there. It doesn't have to be like super pristine, the best code you have written. Trust me, when you go for the interview and you have a GitHub account with some codes, that will look really good. So step number three is uh, be part of different cloud communities and contribute to uh, projects or competitions that you find interesting. Uh, personally, I, I like Kaggle.com. I actually participated in some competitions there. Um, be part of the LinkedIn AWS certification group. That's a good place. Uh, join any group uh, where they're discussing cloud. Um, and yeah, and then a couple of the things that I did was uh, compete in Alexa competitions. They're all free. So one thing um, I hear a lot is, uh, Raj, I want to I wanna, uh, submit into this competition, but I'm not good enough. No one is good enough, right? So you got to start somewhere. Um, the idea is uh, not to win. Right? You cannot win from your first competition or first submission. The idea is uh, to build your sphere of influence, uh, get your knowledge up, and then see what else the people are doing, get ideas from them, and learn from it. Don't be afraid to ask any question, even if you think that's stupid. Uh, cloud community is generally very, very welcoming. So number four is start going to different conferences. Um, some of the conferences are free, like AWS Summit, uh, Awesome Days, uh, Lofts, right? Start going to these places and start interacting with people. Uh, so I know some of you people are probably shy uh, and don't want to open up conversations. Uh, so one way I found it very helpful was I would just go to the booths uh, where they're trying to sell their product and start talking to them, and then chances are there will be other people around you uh, asking the similar questions, and then try to strike a conversation with them that, hey, yeah, this product looks interesting. What do you think? Uh, what company are you from? What kind of challenges are you facing in the cloud? Um, and then, yeah, get, get them into your LinkedIn network, uh, keep up with the people you find interesting, yeah, and try to build up your network. 
So if you follow those four steps for a few months, you should be in a great place. Uh, your knowledge should be up a lot, and then you soon you would be able to apply to cloud positions. However, the step number five uh, is kind of philosophical, um, which I personally follow. Surround yourself with positive and like-minded people, right? Uh, so we will always come across people um, who are negative, right? Who say, uh, it's impossible to switch career, man, uh, because I'm already in a good place. I don't wanna, I don't wanna switch career. I live for the weekends. Uh, don't, don't just listen to them, right? Try to find people through going to conferences, through a LinkedIn network, your personal friends. Uh, try to try to mix with people who gets you energy, right? Who gets you uh, motivated to learn something new, and who tells you that hey, it's okay to fail. Failure is free, right? But people wants to hang out with people who make them feel better. Right? So you don't want to hang out with someone who makes you feel crappy. Like if someone says that, hey, I have, I have this uh, huge job, very important thing, this, that, that don't make you feel good, right? So the same applies to you. Uh, when you hang out with people who motivate you, uh, who, who, who shows you guidance, be appreciative to them, appreciate what they do, so that they also like to hang out with you. Um, so anyway, that's, I know that's kind of philosophical, but I try to follow that. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful to you guys. Uh, hopefully this video shows you the way to get out of the technology that you uh, feel you are stuck and get into the cloud. So if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. All right, see you guys later. Bye.